our second lesson on place value is about to start. Again, get your notepad, get your pencils, and get ready to take down notes of important ideas that will help you in your learning. I'll be sharing my screen right away. For our starter lesson this morning, we're going to be using these cards below to create the biggest and smallest numbers. So have a go quickly, two minutes, have a go to create the biggest number and the smallest number. And I'm counting down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Fantastic. So let's see how you're doing. I'm sure that the smallest number you've come up with will be one, four, five, eight, 1,458. And the largest number would be 8,541. I'll take it again. The smallest number will be 1,458. And the largest number will be 8,541. If you got that right, give yourself a pat on the back. Right. So our learning objectives for today is to recognize the place value of a digit. So you should be able to recognize the place value of a digit. The second learning objective will be to be able to understand that the value of a digit varies based on its place value. And the last but not the least is to multiply and divide by powers of 10. So I'm going to take you through the keywords. Place value, digits, number, column, unit, 10, 100, 1000, decimal, largest, smallest, ascending, and descending. Whole numbers are made up of units, tens, hundreds, thousands, and so on. So we have the thousands, the hundreds, the tens, and the units. In the number 6,325, the digit six means 6,000, the digit three means 300, the digit two means two tens, the digit five means five units. In words, we write this as 6,000, 325. In the number 2,491, the digit two means, have a go, quickly. Excellent. The digit four means, the digit nine means, the digit one means, in words, we write this as, good. Let's mark. The digit two means 2000. If you got that right, give yourself a tick. The digit four means hundreds. If you got that right, give yourself a tick. The digit nine means tens and the digit one means units. In words, we write it as 2,491. That's your answer there. So give yourself a tick if you got it right. 
and give yourself a pat on the back. In the number 6,507, the digit six means, the digit five means, the digit zero means, the digit seven means, in words we write this as, have a go. And I'm counting down, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. You're going to mark your work right now and assess yourself, right? Here we go. In the number 6,507, the digit six means 6,000, the digit five means 500, the digit zero means zero tenths, the digit seven means seven units. In words, we write these as 6,507. Now we have bigger numbers, larger numbers. You can see the figures are five. What's the keyword we're introducing now? What's the place value we're introducing now? Can anybody have a guess? Absolutely correct. Tens of thousands. What's the place value of the digit nine? What digit goes in the thousands column? So we have 94,634. The nine has a value of 90,000. The four has a value of 4,000. Six. 600, 330, and four, four units. How do we write this number in words? 94,664. How confident do you feel with this topic? Write red, amber, or green in your book. And we're going to be completing the corresponding activity in our Google Classroom activity, you have your special code, go in, sign in, and complete the task that you have been assigned. How are we doing? Oh, this is it. 